Kind of scale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, it is Tuesday reset, February 9th, meaning it is Season of the Chosen time. New content, boys. Hype, hype, hype. New content. But with Season of the Chosen, we've gotten a lot of new stuff. A lot of changes to the sandbox, a lot of stuff to, like, look at, review. But with every season, we do get a brand new exotic given to Season Pass holders or Premium Pass holders. And it is going to be, this time, Tiku's Divination, Tyku's Divination. I don't know. The names of Destiny, they're loading me tits sometimes, you know? They just, they're so hard to pronounce. But the Tiku's Divination is a combat bow. Solar, which is really nice, and said there is very little. I think there's only the Veil, which is a solar bow. So finally, we got a solar bow. It is an exotic, though. It is beautiful looking. Just look at it. It looks sick. It's kind of plain, but it looks beautiful. But it does have a draw time of 612, which actually isn't too bad. In terms of perks, though, you got tactical string, bow string, stable, high friction, bow string, slight, increased accuracy, increased stability. You got straight fletching, moderate fletching for straight paths, increased accuracy. And then you have the exotic trait called causality arrows arrows fired while aiming down sights cause sacred flames to instantly detonate we'll get to that in a sec and then precision hits with perfectly drawn arrows increase the power of these detonations so you will see sacred flame hip firing with this weapon fires multiple tracking projectiles targets marked by these projectiles explode upon death or when struck by another sacred flames explosion so maybe it will be like Telesto the best so you know when you hit a projectile it will get stuck to them and then obviously if you fire while aiming down sights it'll instantly explode them and then precision hits with a perfectly drawn arrow will increase the power of the detonation I don't know we're just gonna go in first of all to PvP then into PvE we gotta try this TQ's divination out it looks super hella good and honestly it is bedtime we got another solar bow so without further ado let's go into some PvP with the TQ's divination Alrighty, so we are going to be on the fortress first of all, and this is going to be our Tiku's divination, and honestly, it actually looks pretty cool. Now we are going <gasps> to... What? Is this the... Oh my god, that is sick. And then the flamey arrows. Oh my god, this is dope. Oh, what? Wait, what the hell was that? Is that the tracking? Do I... Wait a minute, game. Are you serious? Is that what the tracking looks like in this game? Oh my god, they basically... Oh my god, they give us like a square. What? Okay, okay, I've already noticed that the, uh, the tracking doesn't really do much in terms of damage. Oh, bro, could you just not? But yeah, I can already tell you that this tracking does not do much damage, but uh, yeah, 18. Uh, not the greatest, but you can see it tracks pretty freaking fast. I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, hit him again. But this is looking so sick. Honestly, if you ever watched any videos, obviously, I don't hack, guys. If you've ever watched video, though, of people using hacks and stuff, this is basically what it looks like. It always looks like they have this big-ass square around everyone's body because it's basically called ESP. And, oh, my God, I'm getting destroyed by a steady hand. But basically, ESP, which is, like, walls, this is what it looks like. So it's super weird to see it actually implemented in a game. But it's, uh, it's honestly pretty sweet. Now, this guy is weak as hell. Now... Oh my god, if I could aim, thank you. Oh, god dang it, but look at that explosion. Was that dragonfly? Oh, that was pretty sweet. But yeah, you could understand why they couldn't make a, a no-scoping like, strong or anything like that. I mean, it's good for tickling booties and stuff like that. But yeah, for the most part, it, it's just not going to be a good idea. Ah! No! Oh, but, but we'll get this guy weakish. I wonder, though, I think if you do no-scope, which is like the guaranteed first hit, if you then hit a precision shot... That is where you're going to be doing the juicy damage. And we'll get this guy. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, if you no scope and then precision hit, you will destroy their HP. I know people will be like, oh, that's kind of stupid because uh, considering you have to shoot them twice. But most bows obviously always are going to be that uh, the old uh, two tap. But hey, we're going to go hit this guy and he can't do anything. And I missed. No, I need to know where this guy's gone. Okay, he's here. Oh, my God, I actually hit that guy. Really? That hit him? Oh, man, no. Can you just stop with your stupid wall? But, like, honestly, the damage as well on this bow isn't bad. You can see when you hit a precision hit, especially with the uh, the perfect draw, which is obviously the extra damage with the detonation and everything like that, you do hit, like, 179. So you can think about if you had anything with, like, a, a power grift or whatever, you will be doing a lot of damage. Now, there is people out here, right? Oh, time to no-scope my boot. Oh, guys, don't kill them all. I want no-scope. The, the no-scope. It really doesn't do that much damage PvP. I, as I said, you can sort of understand why, but you can see that guy is weak. And if we do that around the corner, ah, oh, heal, heal. But there is where it comes in clutch. If you do get someone weak, that is where obviously it's got to help out a load. But if they, oh my God, there is a shred. I mean, look at that. Just one precision hit and they just get, they kind of get shredded. It does quite a bit of damage. If you no scope and then aim, 
it does some insane freaking damage. It's just time to kill. Oh, it is pretty. Oh, bro, don't push me. You just push me back into him. Yeah, time to kill on bows. It's always a big, big problem. But I do understand why Bungie were probably like, I am not going to let this weapon beat. Oh, my God, we shredded him. But I do understand why Bungie would be like, oh, we cannot make this a super good weapon. But, oh, apparently that's how you use a PvP. You get the aim or a shot in. Oh, my God. Is that a freaking thingamajig? I think it is. Oh, we get this guy, though. He's 1 HP. Ah, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. I figured out how to use it. I figured out how to use this weapon. It just took me a full game. Okay, we're going in again, boys. We are going in again. Basically, what I figured out is that you no scope and then you uh, ADS and you can get quick kills pretty fast. Like, you can actually kind of shred it, dude. Uh, we need to come over here, though. Come on, peek, bro. Peek. Uh, come on. Man, the tracking on it, it's actually pretty nuts. I'm not gonna lie, this tracking is freaking insane. Alrighty, so this time we're gonna be on the deck list, but we are gonna be using the weapon a lot more, like, efficiently and better. And the way it's meant to be used, I know, you use, guys, okay, I know you'll be like, oh, why didn't you just use it straight away or test it? I like to, uh, kind of mess around with it, or kind of use it my first time when I'm doing my video, because obviously, a live reaction of how it works and everything is better and everything like that, but you'll see on no scope, and then we'll hit the guy and... Oh, we just got a double kill from the explosion. Oh, woo, we're shredding, boys. Oh, my good lord. Okay, down the bottom, you can see in the left, it doesn't really tell me how I'm hitting people. Oh, my god, I'm weak as hell. But, man, the explosion can kill two people. That is freaking nuts. Now, we got a jiggle peek. There's so many people getting hit. Ah, ch ch hit them. Oh, oh, my god, the damage. This thing's nuts. It's so much fun. Oh my god, this thing is sick looking. It's fun. This is why I rather like kind of tested my uh, video because the hype you get when you use something like this that's super cool and everything, it's so sweet. And especially as I said, the tracking on this, it's kind of nuts. Now, if we get him weak and he's going to explode a bit, now if this guy could just. Oh, he's going to burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh no. Oh my god, okay, this guy is right here in front of me. Oh, thank God you hit him. Okay, that's a rifty boy. No wonder I can't kill this super dude. We'll get this guy. He's got to get no scoped. And then he's dead. Oh, my God. As I said, the tracking on this, it's actually quite nuts. Now, if this guy could not freaking fell winters me, that would be great. So, yeah, basically, if you want to be effective in this, this is legit actually the first arrow where it's really effective by itself. There's none of this changing around, like, because obviously the no scope, whatever. But if you want to be effective with this weapon, what you got to do is you got to jiggle peek. So, basically, jiggle peeking is when you do this. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, I got killed by a freaking fighting lion of all things. But if you don't know what jiggle peeking is, jiggle peeking is basically you charge, you shoot, and you peek back out, and then you aim. That's the best way, and that's the best way to play bows in general. But definitely this one, because the no-scope, it does, like, next to no damage. Now, that guy got me weak, but the no-scope, it really does, like, absolutely zero damage. It does, like, 18. But the point of the no-scope is, is that you basically get it to go off, and then you have a shot where they will explode. And the thing I'm starting to notice is that they will explode if other people are using it as well. So if you have a crew going in with this thing, you can't... Can this guy with the fighting line just stop, please? But you can legit just start to explode people everywhere. Oh, we're right behind them in their booty, though. Oh, no! Bratch! Oh! oh we had someone! Oh, freaking eyes of tomorrow. I got killed by a rocket launcher. Eyes of tomorrow. Of course they got heavy. <laughs> but the explosion is honestly freaking dope. As I said, the damage is actually pretty sweet, too. Now, this guy is 1 HP, but look at that explosion. It's be literally because as soon as you hit the no-scope, it basically leaves, like, Telesto on them. And then as soon as you hit them with the bow... Obviously, Sacred Flame again. You get some really, really cool explosion, which will do damage to multiple people. But at least Bungie really didn't make the tracking freaking insane. Like, usually when they put tracking on weapons, like Yoten and stuff, it's a one shot. But with this weapon, the tracking, it does like 18 damage. So it's not that bad, honestly. I know the tracking is, it's quite nuts too in that it's like a guaranteed hit if they're out near the open. So I do understand that. Now, this is a guy. Oh, no. Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Oh, no, we can't. We can't hit him. Ah, guys, no. Oh, my God. Hit him. Kill the beast. Fighting line, really. It's a fighting line. He was 1 HP as well. Good to know that the freaking behemoth still hasn't got changed. I mean, I haven't read the patch notes, but God, God damn. That thing just tanks so many hits. Uh, we'll hit him weakish. Oh, no, we won't. He has the, bu he has the bubbles on him. 
Oh my god, did I actually just get cock blocked? Oh, look at all that damage though. Freaking this guy in his fighting line. This guy's insane with that thing. What I will say about this weapon is though, is that the whole wombo combo you got with this. Oh, there's the explosion. You can see he's using TQ's divination. It does give you the explosion if I proc it, so... Having multiples run this is honestly not a bad idea, but I will say, as I said, if you are going to be using this as the wombo combo, which is no scope and then head uh, shoot, you got to hit that headshot to get the outright kill. Otherwise, you won't kill them, and that is mainly because of how much damage this thing does. All right, we need to get some more kills, though. We are doing so well at the start, but oh my god, okay, we need to, we need to hone our jiggle peeking in. That guy is running away. He's 1 HP. Oh my god, I missed. No. Huh. Come on, peek, bro. Peek, bro. Someone peek. And there's the kill. Oh my god, I'm so weak. Ah. I will say, though, the gun, you can see how freaking sick it is and stuff. Like, <laughs> just being able to do that, and you don't even need, like, a full charge, and then the explosion. The full, like, honestly, this thing has a pretty decent track charge, but to get the tracking going, you really don't need a full charge to track. You can literally kind of tap it, and it just, it just launches it. So you'll see, as soon as I get, like, a tap it here, you can see it kind of just tracks straight away, and then you do that. Now, if this guy could, oh my god, V, it changed my keybind! What is this crap? I mean, surprising that out of two PvP maps, I only got frozen once, but V? Really? The no scope's actually kind of uh, nuts in terms of you can kind of do it so fast, and that guy is dead. I mean, look at that. But honestly, if you are going to use the bow, no scope, and you basically just tap it, and then you got it ready, and there is the explosion. But honestly, you kind of just have to no scope a bit, and then you get him stuck and everything, and then he just gets hit, and you can see, you just do that, and okay, we hit one of the ones. At least, ah, did this guy die? He still has a stuck in him, though, and there is the... Double kill again. Look at it go. Oh my god. The explosion primary that uh, basically kind of... Oh, I need to kill him. Oh my god. He got shredded. All right. All right. All right. Time for the PvE side of this. So we're obviously in Gambit. Now the TQ's divination. Obviously PvE. This is where it should be super sweet just for explosions whatever. So you'll see me hit him. And then the explosions come in. And it's going to be freaking sweet. So you hit him. And then the explosion. So if they don't even die, it will do that damage or extra damage. So no scoping with this. It's a really sweet thing, as I said, what you do is, as well, is you just kind of tap it. Just tap it, you literally just left click once, and just get ready to shoot the second one, because that is where it will do that juicy damage. The no-scope itself does next to nothing, and I understand why. If you could, <laughs> if you could have, a, like, a really insane tracking no-scope that you can tap, uh, and it was doing loads of damage, it would be pretty nuts. But you can see, as well, there is another guy using Tiku's Divination. So together, we can shred things out of everything, out of effectiveness, out of all that sort of jazz. Being able to kind of use a weapon that is just this cool is just so sweet. Like, look at it. Just look at a freaking go. Just no scope and then just shred the thing. I mean, oh, it's so cool. Now, there's an invader. Guys, he's right there. Oh, we hit him. And that's a 1K voice. My God, a freaking 1K. Oh, he's there, though. He's there. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, he's 1 HP. He's 1 HP. Bro, oh, nice shot, bro. I didn't miss the last shot. But, oh, my God. This thing could shred. I, I, it's going to be more useful in Gambit and stuff as well. Not just, obviously, because PvE and everything. I just think bows in general, obviously, they do super well long range. So, if you think of Widow's Court, this is going to be freaking nuts on PvP and stuff. It's just most of the maps in D2 are super close quarters. And, as I said, bows themselves, they already sort of suffer from a large time to kill. This one isn't as bad as other bows I've seen. But yeah, especially with the draw time and like the kind of quick tap with the first bullet, you can just kind of no scope, but it means you have to hit a precision shot to get the uh, time to kill to be super nice. So it is it is kind of situational. I will admit it, it is kind of situational. I'm depositing before I get freaking shot. But as I said, when you get to long range like this, that is where it's going to be super clutch and you'll see just how much damage. And if you do time it perfectly as well, you will do extra damage with the explosions because that is part of the exotics, like perks and everything. And honestly, PvE is where it's at, boys. As I said, before I even kind of like looked at it, I was thinking PvE is where this thing is going to shred out. But you can see, definitely PvE is just, it's just night and day where this thing goes. Like, look at that. Just freaking damage. <laughs> uh, we are probably going to lose this, which is kind of unfortunate. But honestly, I will say, when it comes to PvE, the TQ's Divination, it is a lot of fun. It's quite effective as well. I don't know exactly numbers-wise. Would you want to use this over your Trinity Ghoul with a Catalyst? 
I wouldn't myself, but this is solar, so for solar burns, it will shred. Well, that's it for me and the TQ's divination combat bow. Honestly, guys, this gun is just so sweet. As I said, when I do reviews, I kind of like to use exotics for the first time when I'm doing the video, and you can see that when I'm playing. The, the bullets, or the arrow in this, is sick. The lighting of it is just so cool. I know it's tree, but it's like, it's like a Trinity Ghoul. It's not as inconsistent as Trinity Ghoul, I will admit that much. Obviously, you want a full draw, but the tracking is just nuts. It, you tap your trigger, and it freaking flies as soon as they have like a red square against them. It will fly straight at them and hit them. It, it really does have insane tracking. And then after that, you just got to draw ADS and you will get the uh, the insane damage from the explosions. Precision hits obviously make it explode a bit more damage. And if there is multiples, you can get double kills. You see it when I was doing PvP. You can get double kills with it. I will admit, PvE as well, it is a lot of fun. It will do insane damage and you can stack with other teammates. I think that's one of the biggest things is that if everyone's running it, you can get one guy who's just constantly no-scoping things and the other guy who's just cleaning up. It has a really, really hard chance of standing up to the Trinity Ghoul, which with the Catalyst, is just freaking insane. I do know that there will be a catalyst on this. I don't know exactly what the catalyst does. As of now, I literally only downloaded the update. But I will admit, Trinity Girl will be very, very hard to beat. The only time it will beat it is probably when you're using Solar Burn. So yeah, definitely Tiku's Divination is a great addition to the game. It's super unique. It's super fun. And it is sick looking. It is really, really dope. But regardless, if you liked the video, trust a like. And you want to see more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.